All right, guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we talked about how there's four steps to close out a session. So up here, we included our functions file right here that I messed up on because I'm an idiot. And we needed that up there because we're going to use our redirect function and maybe some other functions. So that's why I put that up here. So what I'm going to talk about now is our first step, find a session. And I can include our session.php file, but I'd rather just hard code it so I can walk you guys through it. Session start. And let's go ahead and close that out. And I'll make another comment right here for our second step. And we want to unset all the session variables and to do that let's just go ahead and create a session and we'll set it equal to a blank array so make sure you have this code right here with uh, semicolons at the end of our function right here and our array right here make sure you have your dot PHP file right there because I forgot that in the last video Drop down a couple more lines of code. And for our third step, we are going to destroy the session cookie. And we've done this before. So I'm going to drop down a line and let's go ahead and create an if statement. So let's get into it. We'll say if. The cookie is set. Cookie is full of value. Then let's give me these parentheses right here. We will index our session name function. And it looks like I am missing my closing parentheses. So make sure you have your correct amount of opening uh, and closing parentheses as well as this bracket right in there. And if you didn't know, this is a PHP function that we're pretty much going to we're going to put this if statement in the hands of PHP. So PHP is going to find out what specific cookie that it is with this PHP function right here of session underscore name. So if this is true, let's use another PHP function called set cookie, and we'll go ahead and grab our session name right there. Let's copy that. Let's put that in our parameters right here for our argument, just like that. And then right after our closing tag in the middle right here, give it a comma. And we need to set a value of the session. And right now it'll be nothing, so I'll do single quotes. Give it another comma. Give it a space, just like that. And I think I'm going to create another, I'm going to use another PHP function right here. It's called time. Um, and I'm going to do minus maybe 20 minutes because that means if we're on our page and we're idle for 20 minutes and nothing's moved, it's going to go ahead and kick us out. That's what the time PHP function does right that. So make sure you have time, uh, the parameters, the minus sign, and then whatever value you put in, it's going to be in terms of minutes and not seconds. So that's 20 minutes, obviously 100 minutes, hour and a half, but I think 20 minutes is uh, more than enough time to kick somebody out who is idle. Add another argument right here. Don't worry about too much what it means right now. It This just means the root level. This is just going to make sure that it is going to get the cookie. So just make sure you have this correct syntax. We can close this out. Let me look at this. I will save it going to make a comment over here so you guys know what's going on. This is just a, an if statement to l pr pretty much to expire our cookie. Let our cookie know when to expire. Know when to expire. And I think that's all I want to do for this video. We'll talk about the next step in the, in the following video. So make sure you guys have this correct code right here on your logout.php page, and uh, I'll see you guys in the